Hello and welcome back to my channel Hill Tutorial. In this video, I am going to tell you what is model in the loop testing. So in general, the model in the loop testing, we use to simulate plant as well as controller in a native simulation environment. So if you will go through the definition, then you will be able to understand that the plant as well as controller that could be different types of algorithm to control a plant okay are modeled by following the requirement whatever the customer's requirement will be okay uh, so that requirement you will follow and you will make a controller and a plant okay so both uh, controller and plant will be simulated in a same environment okay and will be running in a same development host like a same PC so this type of simulation we used to do and we apply some sort of different test cases and we obtain some result and we ensure that whatever the customers requirement that is meeting by your controller design so this is called model in the loop testing so from this figure you can understand that here is the controller and this is a plant okay and this controller is controlling this plant and here it's some way to apply some references so that accordingly this plant will be had so when this type of simulation we conduct and we uh, do some testing so this is called model in the loop testing why this testing actually we do the answer is to check the correct functionalities of a particular controller which you have designed based on the requirement of your customer or the plant okay so this is how we uh, we, we we do model in the loop testing in automotive engineering especially in model based days once you finish model in the loop testing you have to go to next level testing that is software in loop testing okay so this is software in the loop testing in software in the loop testing uh, the definition is a little bit different and compared to the model in the loop testing so in software in the loop testing that is also called SIL testing in SIL testing both plant as well as controller will be simulated in a same simulink environment but the changes will be the controller will be in the code form so there will be some facility in the uh, simulink environment okay wherever you are working uh, so there will be some facility that your controller which you made using the uh, blocks okay uh, so that can be converted into the code form okay so that should be embedded code okay so you can understand from this picture that uh, here this is the same figure which i have shown you in the model in the loop testing but you can understand from this that this controller is in the form of code okay so this is the embedded code so now uh, your controller is in embedded code okay and the plant is as it was okay and now you will test how what is the uh, performance of the generated code in with respect to the plant okay so this type of testing generally known as software envelope testing why we do this testing the answer is to validate whether the generated code is working as expected with respect to the entire plant or system okay so this is we actually used to check now once you finish software in the loop testing okay so next step uh, development uh, testing step is hardware in the loop testing so this is your hardware in the loop testing this is also called L testing so in hill testing what actually we do uh, this controller already we have generated in the code form so this code form 
okay so this generated code will be dumped into a microcontroller okay so suppose this is a microcontroller in automotive industry it is also called as ECU okay so in this we have dumped the C code of the controller okay and this is the plant okay so this is the plant but this plant now in the real time simulator okay because this issue maybe it is embedded microcontroller like uh, TIC 2000 so this will be operated in real time and this plant you must have to operate in real time okay so this is having one environment and this is also having another environment so two different environment will take place in hardware in the loop testing so it will be little bit complex okay and there we will do co-simulation between this uh, issue or microcontroller and this real-time plant okay so this co-simulation will take place and it will give you the exact result what you are expecting while you are taking your issue to the real physical plant so this is how we actually do hardware in the loop testing the main purpose of conducting this testing is to check the correctness of the generated code which we have uh, dumped into the microcontroller or in the ECU. okay so main purpose is this is but after <coughs> conducting this simulation we used to do many fault analysis and many test cases we write and we pass through the controller and we used to check whether the controller is performing well or not so there are many uh, things to include in hardware in the loop testing so why this hardware in the loop testing is so familiar especially in the automotive industry this one is used heavily okay without hardware in loop testing you can't imagine automotive industry so why there are many advantages okay compared to in vehicle testing even though in vehicle testing is very realistic but there are many disadvantages because it will first require heavy cost then it will be hazardous for the driver you don't know how your controller will perform and you are going to start the vehicle okay you want to drive the vehicle so it will be very hazardous so there are many difficulties while testing in vehicle test so in order to avoid this complexity and hazardousness people uh, the engineers used to do hill testing so it will reduce the risk okay which is associated with failures okay then it will reduce uh, <coughs> the cost okay which will be uh, needed for implementing the complete vehicle okay and there is a flexibility that you can change the plant also but in vehicle testing you cannot change the plant your plant will be one time you uh, prepared then you can of course change the plant but it will require again money okay so it is saving money and giving the flexibility that you can change the plant also so there are many flexibility in using hardware in book testing it is also reducing time to market and cost because hardware in the loop means easily you can change the code which you dumped into the microcontroller okay also you can change the plant if any further things need to be required okay any changes you want to make into your plant as well as in controller easily you can do but with the physical system you cannot do that's why hardware in loop testing is day by day this becoming so popular 
very easy to test false okay so different types of scenario you can create and you can pass through your controller as well as plant in order to ensure that your controller is much and much robust against any kind of fault so all this advantages making hill testing so popular so hope uh, this discussion will be helpful for your understanding about different types of uh, development stages in model based design engineering so thank you for watching my videos and please uh, do subscribe my channel thank you